Section 5.3, example 2, solving an oblique triangle. So we're going to find the remaining parts of this triangle. And last video I mentioned we can use the law of sines if we know one side and two angles, or two sides and an opposite angle. So we'll see what that is in a second. Um, right now we're given two angles and one side. We know one angle is 20 degrees, another angle is 130, and then we have a side. So we know side angle angle is what we call that saa because we know if we go like in a circle we know side angle angle or you can do it backwards aas would be the same thing if you went the other way angle angle side all right so let's go ahead and solve this triangle we can use the law of sines so i like to find the remaining angle first um, I labeled it gamma just because that's what the book does, but I'm going to use capital C because I think it's easier. So the remaining angle would just be 180 minus 20 minus 30, which I think you should get 30 degrees. All right, so 30 degrees. So now we just have to find the remaining sides. So the way the ratio works is we'll use the side we know. So sine 20 and 6 go together so we can use sine b over b equals um, we'll do a first sine a over a and then i did say the reciprocal was allowed which i'm going to use the reciprocal you'll see why um, because we're solving for a i like to put what we're solving for on top it's a little faster all right, so b is 6 over sine of 20 equals a is unknown over sine of 130. And we just multiply both sides by sine of 130. So sine of 130 times 6 all over sine of 20. And we get A is about 13.44. Cool. So we have found two of the sides, all of the angles. Just got to find one more side. So we'll do the same ratio. So we we'll can say 6 over sine 20 equals, and then C is unknown but the angle is 30, so C over sine 30. So you can flip it as long as both are sine on bottom or both are sine on top to keep it proportional. And we'll solve this by multiplying both sides by sine 30. It's pretty quick. So sine of 30 times six all over sine of 20. And C is 8.77. And we've solved the triangle. Let's try another one. So in another one, we know two angles and a side. We have an angle 118 is given and 22. And then the side of 24 is in between. So we just write it differently to kind of indicate order. So the first one I wrote angle, angle, side, because the side was outside. It was angle, angle, side. Now we have angle, side, angle. The order will just help us when we have a few more cases. So we call this angle, side, angle, because the side is in between. And again, it was one of the cases where we're allowed to use law of sines. So let's find the third angle and then use law of sines. So 180 minus 118 minus 22. I got 40 degrees, and then we'll use law of sines for the rest. So we have to use C first, because that's the only side we know. So sine of 40 over 24, or 24 over sine of 40, I like that better, since we're solving for sides, equals, and then doesn't matter which one we do first, I'll just do A first, A over sine of 118. If you flip it, you can still solve it. You're just doing a little bit extra work. So we'll multiply by sine of 118. So 
So sine of 118 times 24 all over sine of 40. And A is about 32.97, yeah. If you happen to be getting different numbers, it's likely that your calculator is in radian mode. And so let's solve one more. Um, let me show you what happens if you do accidentally flip it. So I've been putting the letters conveniently on top and the sign on bottom. It does work the opposite way. So instead, if I did sine of 40 over 24 equals sine of 22 over B, it does still work. The reason I'm not doing this is it's a little bit more work. So we have to actually cross multiply now since B is on the bottom. So B equals sine of 40 times sine of 40 equals 24 times sine of 22 and then divide by sine of 40. You get the same answer either way. But we had to do an extra step here. But you technically can write it either way. I usually try to think about what I'm solving for and then I try to put that on top. So I would have preferred to flip these. If I were solving for an angle, I would prefer sine on top. Um, so let's see, 24 times sine of 22 divided by sine of 40, and B is equal to 13.99, that'll round up. And we solve the triangle. We got all three sides and all three angles.